everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jasmine and today I'm going to show you how I do my makeup. Now basically this is just a step-by-step -step guide on how I like to do my makeup. And I do this when I know I have a lot of time. I should address the fact that everyone is free to do their makeup their own way. If you want to put on just some mascara and stick on, you can do this. I'm just sharing with you what I learned from other beauty gurus here on YouTube. And I hope you enjoy, I hope you find it helpful. And if you already know this stuff, I hope you still find it enjoyable. Thanks for watching. Bye! So first step one, I'm using a moisturizer and I'm using the Garnier moisturizer. And I usually put this 10 to 15 minutes before putting on my makeup so that I can bring back the moisture that I lost after I wash my face. I'm also using a lip balm to hydrate my lips as well. I'm using this Clinique Universal Face Primer as a primer and primers are great for evening out and smoothing your skin before putting on foundation. For foundation, I'm using the 24 Hours Revlon Color Stay Foundation and I'm just dotting this all over my face and blending it out with the makeup brush. Remember to blend out very well your foundation and to drag this down your neck. For concealer, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal and I'm just putting this in a triangular shape under my eyes. I'm also using this Maybelline Instant H Rewind Concealer to highlight the highest point of my cheeks, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, and my chin. And I'm going to blend this all out using a makeup brush. I'm using the Sexy Mama Press Powder by The Bomb to set my foundation and make it last throughout the day. I'm using the same translucent powder to set my under eye concealer to prevent any creasing. Next step is about bronzers and contour and for my bronzer I'm using this Hoola Benefit bronzer and I'm just putting this all over my face to bring back the warmth that I lost after putting on my foundation. And I'm using this to contour my nose as well. For contour, I'm using the Master Sculpt by Maybelline and I'm putting this under my cheeks, on my temples, and on my jawline. For blush, I'm using the Silky Touch Blush by Essence and this color is great for me because dark berries and dark pinks are great for tanned skin tones. Step 8 is all about the eyes, but first I'm going to use this Makeup Revolution Focus and Fix Eyebrow Kit to fill in my eyebrows using the darkest shade in the kit. To set my eyebrows, I'm using the Catrice Eyebrow Gel. If you make any mistakes, remember that you can use your concealer to fix them. Next, I'm applying eyelid primer to prime my eyes and make my shadows last throughout the day. From the Naked 2 palette, I'm using the color Tease for my crease and the color Suspect for my lids. Next, 
Next, I'm using this Kiko liquid eyeliner to give myself a little wing. Now remember, you can skip the eyeliner and the eyeshadows, but I recommend using at least some mascara. I'm curling my eyelashes before putting on mascara and I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. This is great for giving me length and volume. I'm also putting this on my lower lashes. For highlighter, I'm using the Mary Luminizer by The Balm and I'm putting this on the highest points of my cheeks, on the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow and a little bit on my forehead. Last but certainly not the least are my lips and for lip liner, I'm using this Essence Lip Liner in Satin Mauve and I'm going to overdraw and fill in my lips. For lipstick, I'm using this MAC Retro Matte Lipstick in Flat Out Fabulous. So this is it guys, this was my makeup routine, step by step. Remember you can do anything you want with your makeup. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.